Hello. Hello. I'm Farah Youssef. I've been poking around in the uh, Interaccess archives, so I've been thinking a lot about technological obsolescence. I'm going to start with this picture of an installation by Nam June Paik called uh, Something Pacific. Across this lawn, he scattered all these television sets with Buddha statues, watching these de television sets sort of deteriorate over time. I think this speaks to the urgency we all face as media art practitioners with regards to the preservation of technological works of art. The conservation of new media works present a rather unique challenge to the art world. Art world. Over time, electromechanical components will break down. Add to that the technological obsolescence inherently built into media culture, where equipment or software becomes outdated, discontinued, to make way for newer, better products. If one component of a new media artwork becomes unavailable, obsolete, or incompatible with new software, the entire work may cease to function. Whether it is electromechanical in nature or born digital or somewhere along this spectrum, the big question is, how do we preserve an artwork that depends on software and devices that might be obsolete in a few years? Well, in 2002, um, the Guggenheim Museum and the Daniel Langlois Foundation uh, established a consortium of contemporary art museums named the Va Variable Media Network. So through conferences and symposiums, they came up with a set of four preservation strategies they call the variable media approach. Storage um, is the most conservative strategy where the artwork is not changed at all. Instead, spe special care is taken to keep the work in safe, controlled environment and even keep extra components, extra things to, to make sure that if it ever breaks down, we've got a backup plan. Um, oh, there's no more. <laughs> Migration involves uh, upgrading old components to new version. This can be anything from digitizing content, presenting work on an LCD screen instead of a CRT screen, or using newer versions of software. Through emulation, uh, we devise a way to imitate the look and feel of a work by completely different means. Finally, the most controversial strategy is reinterpretation, in, which involves recreating the artwork each time it is exhibited according to contemporary media and practices. This is a dangerous technique, but not, a, not specifically mandated by the artist, but the Variable Media Network promotes, um, advocates an extensive inter interview process while collecting the work, where um, the artist is asked to describe the work in a non-medium specific way um, in order to establish the best approach to translate the work once its current medium becomes obsolete. But they also recognize that some pieces are meant to be ephemeral and should exist for posterity only through um, the documentation and historical accounts, like what we've seen tonight with the early Teledon, slow scan and whirlpool works. Um, these, all of those things, Though those projects um, were specific to a particular historical moment and technology, but by sharing them tonight, we're keeping them alive in the public imagination. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen.